So here's a quick and dirty technique that I found and it was pretty useful for many projects that I had. Um, it's to use shrink wrap to morph one object to another. It's useful when combining with other things such as fields and spline wraps and it's really convenient and it saves a lot of time rather than the other method which is to use pose morphs to deform an object. And it can look really good if you know how to do it correctly. So here we go. So opening up Cinema 4D, uh, I just have two objects here. One is this toy that's like a little duck, and one is this orange. So what I want to do is morph this toy into this orange, and I'm going to do that by applying a shrink wrap. So Control c on the toy, shrink wrap, search for shrink wrap, and there it is. And I'm going to bring the shrink wrap as a child of a toy. And I'll open up the shrink wrap. And then, as you can see, there's a room for target object, mode, strength, and maximum distance. What I'm going to do is bring the orange into the target object. And immediately you see that the toy is trying to conform to the shrink wrap. And as you can see, it's not deforming correctly. But what we want to do is to change this mode into target axes. So now it's just uh, moved to the side. But if we bring the toy closer to the orange, you can see that it starts to inherit the shape of the orange. So if I switch off the visibility of the orange, I can see that the toy is perfectly into the shape of the orange. Except for a little bit of um, little cracks here and there, but I will show you how to correct those. So now that we have that, we want an opposite thing where the orange is turning into the toy. And this will be useful for compositing later on. So I'm going to clone these, the toy and the orange. And I'm going to reverse things by having shrink wrap be underneath the orange and the target being the toy. and group these individually as toy to orange and this one as orange to toy. So I'm going to turn off visibility for the orange the toy first and just look at the toy to the orange and I'm going to turn off the orange inside of this one. So if I animate the shrink wrap here, it's just straight up the toy deforming to the orange. So I'm going to have that as one render. I'm going to set my other render as the orange deforming to a toy. So I'm going to take out the visibility to this toy and set keyframes on the shrink wrap strength for the orange. So we don't need it to look perfect because it's just going to be used for compositing later on. It's not going to be needed to be a full render. Just something to give it a little bit extra motion. So I'm going to go to the first one with my toy to orange and start setting keyframes. So I'm going to switch off visibility for the orange to toy. And go to the shrink wrap, so around frame 37. I'm going to set a keyframe for strength to zero. And then around frame 50, I'm going to add a keyframe for strength to 100. So it's going to be 37 and 50. Those are my keyframes. And I'm going to remember that. And I'm going to turn off the visibility for the toy to orange one. You turn on invisibility for the orange to toy. And then I'm going to set the keyframes for 37 to 50 on the strength for the shrink wrap there. Set it at 100% keyframe. And then at 50, I'm going to set it to zero. And then in compositing, I'm going to render out 
each one of these individually and layer them over each other like so. And you can see if I turn the opacity off of one layer and reveal the other, it gives it a nice deformation effect. And that's it. Simple as that. We have an object morphing into another. Mm -hmm.